Here's a little follow-up video to my AGFA clock pinhole conversion. Someone had asked about the tools that I use to make these plastic pieces. So I'm just going to give a quick demonstration on how I cut those up. Like I said in the other video, I use these plastic clipboard. I've already cut a piece out of here and I've marked it in the circle that I want to cut it to. I use my Dremel with the cutting tool here. And we'll go ahead and turn it on. This is how I cut it off of there, but I also, there's some extra material here, so instead of grinding that down, I'll go ahead and cut that off. So that gets it down to where it's relatively round. Then I'll want to change the tool. To this one here, which is a round piece of sandpaper. And then with this, I'll just grind it down until I make my circle. It's a little less awkward when you're not trying to hold it in front of the camera. Okay, I'm just going to take this bit down to the line and then I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, got it cut down to the circle. Now, I do take a piece of sandpaper and I just kind of give it a little bit of a scuffing up. Kind of clean the edges off a little bit. Okay, once I've got this down, I take that piece that we're going to use for a template. This is the old shutter housing. I'll set it on there and then I'll mark the center with the hole there. And what I want to do is I want to drill a hole straight down the middle of that thing. Now, drilling this stuff is kind of tricky because it cracks. So I can't just drill a big hole in there. So what I have to do is I've got to drill a small hole because I can do that without it cracking. So, just get there right in the middle. I go real slow. Okay, there we go. Now we did that without it cracking. That's a good thing. And the trick to making the big hole here 
through trial and error, I found the best way is to use one of these. This is a, a countersink bit. And it's getting a little gummed up here because I've used it so much. So I'll put that on the drill. And with this, with that pilot hole there, I can set it right in the pilot hole and just start pulsing it. And that will cut through it without cracking. Once I get about halfway through, I flip it over and I start going from the other side. That side. That went a little bit faster, so I got a little bit of a crack. A little piece chipped off, not a crack, but a little piece chipped off, but that's okay because I take sandpaper and I kind of put a little chamfer on there anyway. But that's how you get this big hole drilled in there. Don't try and drill it with a big drill. You're just going to crack the material. Okay, at this point, I like to sand it down nice and smooth. So I just take a little sander here, upside down, hold it with my hand. Okay, there we go. The next thing I do is that I said I don't worry about this chip. So I just take a roll up piece of sandpaper here and I just kind of work it around the edge. Now you can't even see the chip, it's gone. And I've got a little bit of a chamfer along the edge of this hole here. Okay, and the last tool I use, I think it's the last one I use, it's when I want to put these notches in the side of it here. I use one of these tools here. It's, it's hard, but it's got like a felt liner on it. And I find they work really well when you just want to move from the outside into the material. So I get it fired up. Just like that. Clean it up a little bit. And there you go. Okay, and that's it. Those are the tools that I use to manipulate these plastic clipboards into what I need them to be. I use this felt one here for the notches. I think that works absolutely the best. The cutting tool, I think any cutting tool would work for getting them rough cut. These round sandpaper bits are really good for taking a lot of material off to get you down to where you need to be. But the key one is this countersink bit. Don't drill with a big drill bit through there, it's just going to break. These things work perfect. It digs right through it, makes a nice clean hole. Hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget if you have not seen the other video on my Agfa Clack pinhole conversion, take a look at that one. This video will make a little bit more sense after that.